Hello, in this video I would like to show you how to use the shell method to find the volume of a solid region. Okay, so let's consider the following example. Find the volume of the solid region formed by rotating the region about it by the graphs of y equal to x minus x cubed, the x axis, on the interval 0 and 1 about the y axis. So now, we rotate our region about the y axis. You see, here's the big difference between the shell and the, this method. But let's graph this function first, okay? So this function looks like this. It's x, y, and o. And then, uh, the, this function has two x, actually has three x intercepts, right? So I can write very briefly in here. Uh, I put x minus x cubed equal to 0. From here, I take x out, I get 1 minus x squared equal to 0. And then I get x equal to 0, or 1 minus x squared equal to 0. And then from this equation, I get x squared equal to 1, or x equal to plus minus 1. So basically, the function has 3x intercept, 0 and plus minus 1, right? But we consider the function on the interval 0 and 1 right here in the assumption. So I only need to take care about the graph on 0 and 1 in here, right? And, you know, <coughs> we can check easily that, you know, the graph of this function on 0 and 1 is above the x axis. How to know that? I just pick, you know, a random point from 0 to 1, for example, 1 half, right? You can pick 1 over 2, and then you plug 1 half into the function. And basically, uh, you see that the function at 1 half is positive, so the function is positive on the whole interval. So that means the graph is above the x axis. Alright, so I have this region. Okay, the region looks like this. Now, I will rotate this region about the y axis. So you, you see something like this, right? If we rotate this about the y axis, we get the following and very, very brief one that is negative one. So you can see something like here. Let me make the same chain here. And then, you know, you have something like this. Okay, so in this situation, we cannot use the, this method. You know why? <coughs> um, for the this method, our cut, you know, if we use the this method, right? So for example, like this. So our cut is perpendicular to the A6 of rotation. You see that? So for this situation, if you want to use the disc, it's no way. Uh, so we need to use another method. And now we can use the shell method to, to do that. So let's say the shell method. Again, I will make some cut in here, right? I will make some cut in here. Let's say that is delta x. Here is x. And here is f of x, right? And then, when we rotate this about the y axis, I will get something like this. In here, right? So, you know, if I just bring this out and zoom this, I will get the following shell. The shell looks like this. So I hope you can imagine, right? The shell looks like this. And then the inside, I have something like this. And here. Okay. And here. And here. So this is our shell. You know, uh, we use almost the same idea with integration, right? First, we uh, split our solid region into small pieces. And then each time we approximate, uh, uh, small piece by some well-known. In this case, we use shells. So, <clears throat> we need to find the volume of each shell and then we sum them off. We get some Riemann sum. Then we do some limit process. We get some integral. Alright, so what is the volume of this shell? <clears throat> I need to find the volume of this shell. The volume of this shell is equal to, you know, 
we can write yeah, the, this the difference right between volumes of the outside and the inside shell. So I, I you know I, I, I try to avoid any computation in here and any you know difficult explanation. I just want to tell you one thing. I want to make a cut in here, okay? I want to make a cut in here and this cut for example is corresponding to the x right with the delta x. So basically I have delta x in here. I have the height is f of x. So I can write yeah, delta x is very small so I can write just volume in very, you know, naive naive formula. Let's say that that is you know 2 pi and then times the radius in here the radius px and times the height f of x you know i try to okay let's say xi right actually here we have some you know, uh, two radius i'm sorry for this actually in this situation we have two radius okay we have two radius in here but I'll write just only for one, okay? All right, just for P, X, I, you know, just kind of the average, right? So I will sum this off. I'll get the following. I have sum of volumes. So that is sum of 2 pi, P, X, I, and then F of X, I. I will go from one to N, you know, uh, and then I will do some limit process. I get the volume equal to this go to integral from a to b uh, in this situation from 0 to 1 I bring 2 pi out of the integral so px f of x and then delta x dx So I think we mix delta x in here, the volume, right? The volume is delta x in here. We mix delta x in here. All right, so this is the formula of the volume of our solid region using the shell method. Okay, now let's apply this formula for our function. So again, um, our function is, you know, x minus x cubed, right? f of x, no, it's not good. Say f of x is x minus x cubed. And what is p of x in this case? p of x is the radius. You can see p of x is in here, right? That is p of x. And in this picture, p of x is equal to x. So I substitute everything into the formula. I get the volume is equal to 2 pi into cron from 0 to 1 x x minus x cubed dx and this integral is pretty easy we only need to use the power rule right 0 and 1 I have x squared and then minus x cubed dx so you know I just distribute x with the x and x cubed and here I have 2 pi x cubed over 3 which is the antiderivative of x squared minus x to 4 over 4 Evaluate from 0 to 1. So you get 2 pi. You plug 1 into this, you get 1 third minus 1 fourth minus 0 over 3 minus 0 over 4. So this term is just 0. And this one is 4 minus 3 over 12. So I get 2 pi times this is equal to pi over 6. So that is the final answer for this problem. Okay, let's do a short review about uh, the shell method, okay? So basically, <clears throat> when you rotate something about the y axis in here, okay? When you rotate something about the y axis, you make some cut, okay? And with the shell method, your cut, your cut is perpendicular or not not is parallel to the a6 of rotation yeah that is very important right your cut is parallel to the a6 of rotation in the this method your cut is perpendicular to the a6 of rotation 
All right, and then you can see on this picture, you see that the volume, right? We need to find to write the, the volume. So that is what? That is, you know, two pi in here. I have this formula, two pi, two pi px. What is two pi px? That is circumference of the circle. So you, you multiply it with the circumference of the circle in here, you know, and then multiply with the height, you get volume. And from this formula, you can write the integral. You can write integral like this, okay? So with this integral, you know, you plug P at X, Px and then Fx, and you just uh, apply integration rule to find the volume, all right? So let's consider the next example. Example two. So let's use, use the shell method to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the, the region by the graph of the equation y equal to 1 over x to 4 plus 1, y equal to 0, x equal to 0, x equal to 1 about the y a6 okay about the y6 okay so we know yeah we will take some region about the y6 is better to use the shell method first let's graph the function and we'll see uh, our function is y equal to 1 over x to 4 plus 1 this function is always positive right so the function is positive on 0 to 1 I can make the graph of this guy is x or y when x equal to 0 y equal to 1 when x equal to 1 y equal to 1 half so 1 half in here here is 1 that is second point 1 half so the function looks like this you know maybe it's not correct with the convexity concavity but that's okay right so our region is this And now we rotate this region about the y six. That's good. Y six. So now we use the shell method, right? And remember that with the shell method, your cut is parallel to the a six of rotation. So I will make my cut like this. This is my cut. Okay. You know, each time I try to do this because only. Only on this picture I can see what is what 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 px is. So here is x, right? And px is the radius of rotation. So basically you can find your px in here in this picture. And of course you, you see that px is equal to x. So that is a very important step, you know, to determine px. Okay, so I can write the volume of this guy, v equal to 2 pi integral from 0 to 1 <coughs> px f of x dx i just repeat the formula right and then i plug px is x in here and then f of x is 1 over x to the 4 plus 1 dx okay now our job is to evaluate this integral i see this is 2 pi 0 and 1 x dx over x to the 4 plus 1 okay so when we see something like x dx in here okay that is you know very likely that we need to do substitution what kind of substitution i put u equal to x square and then i will find du that is x 2x dx you see we already have x dx uh, when we differentiate that function right x dx in here so from here i see yeah x dx is du over 2 and then i rewrite our integral in terms of u <coughs> but you know i really recommend you don't write definite integral in this situation let's try to find antiderivative first right and then plug 0 and 1 at the end so i try to find antiderivative of this from of this integral x dx 
over x to the 4 plus 1. I rewrite this in terms of u. <coughs> x dx is du over 2. So I write du over 2. x to the 4. What is x to the 4? x to the 4 is, you know, x square square. So that is u square. So I write 2 times u square plus 1. Okay. Uh, 1 half, I can print that out. I can take this out. I get du over u square plus 1. And this is very familiar to us, right? So that is 1 over 2. A tangent of u plus c. So a tangent of u plus c. Now I have to plug the substitution back here to get the result with the x. So I have 1 over 2. A tangent of x squared plus c. All right. Now we already have antiderivative. We will plug 0 and 1, right, into this formula to find the final answer. So basically, I write again volume in here is equal to 2 pi times 1 over 2. A tangent of x squared evaluated from 0 to 1. So that is pi because 2 with 2 will be cancelled out in here. Okay, and then a tangent of 1 minus a tangent of 0. So what is a tangent of 1? That is pi over 4. A tangent of 0 is 0. So times pi, finally, I get pi squared over 4. All right, so uh, you see this? Actually, the share method works really well, right, when you rotate something about the y six. Of course, for this problem, we may use this, this method, but, you know, uh, that is extremely uh, difficult, and I would say that, yeah, maybe not really good because you have to express x as a function of y, okay? So, I hope that this video is useful and that would help you to study better in Camp Plus 2. Thank you.